What's going on, y'all? I know it's been a minute. But there's a lot of things that's been happening over the past five, six days. This is one of them. John Oliver, this uh, British pile that uh, has his own late night deal that told Trump that when he ran, he would write him a campaign check. I wonder if he's ever wrote that check. I doubt it. But check this out. You didn't say the magic word. <laughs> <laughs> another day, another late night show host allowing their TDS and their unchecked, insane shilling for the DNC get them into trouble. Now, we saw Jimmy Kimmel yesterday getting himself into a fraud lawsuit for misusing cameo videos. Yeah, for, Jimmy for Kimmel. Republican. <laughs> Uh, uh, politician, well, I guess still Republican politician. We've seen the downward spiral of Kimmel, spiral of Kimmel, SNL, of course, Stephen Colbert's unhinged meltdown uh, <laughs> over Trump, where he screams like a demon into the camera that yeah. went viral over the weekend. Now, failing late night show host slash comedian or whatever, I guess he would he thinks he calls himself. John Oliver has resorted in the face of plummeting ratings to publicly offering a bribe to a Supreme Court justice. Now, I hear you in the comments saying, well, nothing's going to happen because everyone's corrupt. And you're probably right. But something's got to give. And the more now, often, the more time that these shit's over with. do these things... I'm hoping at some point... Time to pay your There's some Republican judge out there or some Republican... Uh, 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 who will take a stand that has balls uh, because we look at the way the judicial system has been weaponized against uh, well Donald Trump or anybody who dared to attend uh, the trespassing event back in January I mean I don't like to get down into the mud and, and fight with people I think in general that's bad but I'm warming up to the idea now get the F off the Supreme Court comedian John Oliver offers to pay Justice Clarence Thomas $1 million a year and hand him a $2.4 million dollar RV if he resigns from his Supreme Court justice uh, position. A clear bribe. Uh, he had the, yeah. had the actual device, you know, they had the RV on camera. I mean, to me, this would be Fry more than ass. enough to charge him. It'll be interesting to see if some <clears throat> judge has the stones. Yeah. Comedian John Oliver has offered Justice Clarence Thomas $1 million a year and a $2.4 million motor coach what to get idiot. the app off the Supreme Court. John Oliver, by the way, not a United States citizen. Yeah. You know, only in America, only in America... Would Americans be importing um, these moronic uh, Brits? Yeah. Because their accents, their funny accents, makes them sound funny yeah. or sound smart. Only well, in America, they're not. Would, would we would we take the rejects from the UK yeah. and pretend like they get our country? I've never seen so many morons. You know, yeah. between Pierce Brosnan, like he understands anything about America. Yeah. Or, of course, John Oliver or any one of these James Corden or all these idiots uh, that are, you know, dominate late night television hosts yeah. shows. Yeah. I know everyone from the UK always tells me no refunds. I understand. But somehow That's we why. also got that idiot <laughs> Prince Harry, too. I can't open a newspaper or open a website without saying vapid, brainless articles about that do-nothing loser. Yeah. Anyway, I digress. Yeah. It comes after a series of investigations that Thomas had failed to declare dozens of lavish trips and expenses paid for by Republican billionaire Harlan Crow. The ensuing scandal called his integrity and impartiality into question, particularly in the wake of heavily politicized Roe v. Wade ruling and his refusal to recuse himself in relation to the J6 uh, trespassing event. I, you know, I don't know why he would need to recuse himself from that. Nobody ever asks liberal judges to recuse them. Nobody asks a liberal judge to recuse yeah. himself from Roe v. Wade. So why wouldn't he? Of course, Oliver joked, yeah. why don't you play right now from stripping away women's rights 
to hearing J6 cases, and you deserve a big break, you know, away from the meanness of Washington. Um, so then he outlines an actual bribe. Huh. So you can be surrounded by the regular folks whose lives you made demonstrably worse for decades. I would disagree with that. Um, of course, you know, these payments that came through to Justice Clarence Thomas um, should have been declared. I don't know the ins and outs of it. I always assume basically every politician's on the take doesn't make it okay when they're a Republican no. either. But no. that's not what this story is about. Oh. Well, hey, y'all check it out. This, uh, this is the quartering. Look for Jeremy, that guy right there. He's got a lot of information. You can tell he's on a lot of different things. He's been doing it for a while. And uh, he's on uh, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and Snapchat, and whatever, Rumble, and everything else. So, yeah, this here is what we're dealing with, y'all. I've got more coming out. I've just been looking at a bunch of them, and I'm about to be bam, 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 and showing y'all and telling you exactly what's going on behind the scenes and what kind of idiocy we're having to deal with. I'll be back, my friends. Thank y'all very much. God bless the United States of America. Screw you commies. You know the drill. Yeah. You have a good day, patriots. I'll be back.